As we've discussed in some of the other videos, the fee transparency rules under the Consumer Rights Act 2015 are not going away. And in fact, the tenant fees ban in Wales, as it has done in England, is actually extending the requirements of fee transparency. At the moment, you are required by law to display your fees, charges and penalties levied against landlords and tenants prominently in your office and on your website. From the 1st of September, that will be extended for your fees to tenants to any online advertisers in Wales, as it has been in England. And therefore, for your tenant fee menus, you are going to have to make sure that you have got those prominently in your office and on your website and on all third-party websites that you use to advertise your properties. The most obvious examples are the portals, Rightboot, Zoopla and On The Market, but also think about social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram, etc. Some of the social media sites won't give you enough space to put the fees, therefore what you will have to do is include a link in those posts to your website uh, and to the fees page on your website. But don't just think about the portals and social media, what about other local portals that you might be using to advertise your fees, other local property sites, and the one that has come up that we found in relation to the fee ban in England is local newspapers. Now obviously the fee transparency rules don't apply to the print newspaper, you don't have to put your fees on there, but if your local newspaper also advertises the properties from the print paper on their website, that is an online advertiser and therefore you'll have to get the fees displayed on your local newspaper site. Not all local papers do that, some do, some don't, but if yours does, make sure that you've got your fees on there as well. Now that then brings us on to your fee templates. And you're effectively going to need two tenant fees templates. You're going to need one for your existing fees and any other non-housing act or other uh, tenancies that you've got that aren't within the tenant fees ban. You're going to need that. You're also then going to need a second new fee template for the Tenant Fees Act compliant fee. And these are the, that's the fee template that will need to go on the online advertisers.